So, it's 2023 and there is two hours left. It's late at night. The children are at mom's because it's mom's week. But again, this is proof that even if you haven't got your children or there's an obstacle, it doesn't stop you doing make, finding the solution. Now, before I continue, I'm going to put on the appropriate attire and show you the best hoodie. Any dads out there, I think the moms can get it too. There is no hood like a fatherhood. Uh, and anyone that's got children will know that. Okay, so I'm going to recap on 2023. And my recap is I'm going to focus in on my hero. And that's Cruz. Because Cruz came to me, as you know, back in July. Um, and he pestered and pestered me. And said that he wants to do his own YouTube channel. It took me a few weeks. I won't go into it. But in the end, he won. And I looked into it. No knowledge whatsoever of YouTube. So if there's anyone out there... That, that wants to try YouTube, that's got a passion that they want to put onto YouTube, it's got to be a passion and something you want to do, then um, you can do it, because I did it. I did, I, we've, we've got 10,000 subscribers in 10 weeks. I had zero knowledge. I, I remember Googling how to set up a YouTube channel. But the reason why I was so adamant to learn is because my children are my passion um, and I wanted to learn. So that's why we are where we are today. However, things have evolved. Um, years ago, 2017, I did, well, I've always done a lot of work for charity. I, I get a buzz out of helping people, particularly children or people that need help. But with the children coming along and being a single parent and operating businesses, I found it quite challenging to sort of pick back up the charity aspect of my life. Um, and unbeknown to me, it's what's been missing in my life. And had it have not been for Cruise and this channel, which I'll get onto in a minute, then I would never have, 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 have got back into it or found my feet in how to do it. I think I'd have carried on working my businesses, having the children, being a single dad and mixing the two. And there was always something missing. I didn't know what it was. And it was that element of, I don't know, like the word philanthropy, but it was that element of just helping others. Um, but this was my, the last time I did anything, Shout out to Mark behind the camera. Best DJ in the UK, by the way. Watch out for him, but we'll reveal him next time. So this was for the Birmingham Children's Hospital. And this is the tracksuit that I wore when I did a world record. Come on, Jenny! Come on! And raised with other athletes some money and built a hospital for children with rare diseases. I haven't done anything really since then. The only thing that I did do, because I do want to be a product, want my children to, to, to have that empathic, I want them to look after people and be kind, because I think you get most out of life when you actually treat people and do things for other people out of your heart. Now Cruz, you're going to see some of the clips here, he's at the age of four, um, the, the, when he, he started school at four, because he was, he was born early, he's one of the younger ones, and the school put out a call for all the kids and their parents to see if they could help with anything creative to raise some money for their playground. And uh, Cruz woke up one morning at 4 a.m. Uh, you'll see that little clip. Um, I'll pause while you watch it. <laughs> Why are you doing your row this morning? Because I'm school playground. And how many meters are you gonna row? Thousand. Let's go. Meter. Welcome back. Um, yeah, so, and then he wanted to row. He said, Dad, I want to row a thousand meters. And he was into Godzilla, so he learnt the Japanese song for Mothra. So I'll just let you watch the, the little row he did, just a clip of that. 130, you're on, so let's have a look. Uh, 138. So you've got another 800 and something to do. Keep going. Good boy. That's it, pull it all the way back to your belly. That's it, pull it to your belly. That's it, good, good technique. Keep going, keep going, that's it. That's it, you can do this son, you got this. You might be four years old, but you got this. And then, this is what he sang in Japanese. Good boy. One more verse. Okay, so that's what Cruz did. Now the check here, because it was done so quickly, in 24 hours he raised £4,000. Um, but it didn't come in until about three or four days. So when this was done, 
it's that's his certificate. It says 2,450, but it was actually 4,000, but 2,000, 4,000, same thing, isn't it? But um, I was gobsmacked, school was gobsmacked, and he and he's constantly saying to me, Dad, what you know, especially around Christmas time, he's got a room full of toys. He says, Dad, you know, we should give some of the toys to, to the children that were like you. Because I always tell him about my journey when I was young and that not having much, um, so he understands the concept. I don't want him to take anything for granted and understands to give. So if I take you back to where I grew up, if you have a look at that video now, I want to show everybody proof that you can do anything you want in life, as long as you connect your paradigms make sure you've got that positive mentality. This is where I grew up as a child. You know, I think there was eight, no, nine of us in a, it was that actual house there, eight Foral Grove, number eight Foral Grove. And nothing's changed, that was our home um, there. And we lived in that ground floor flat, nine of us. We lived there, as you can, you probably heard in the video, we, there was nine, there wasn't seven of us, there was nine of us. There were seven children, my mum and my dad. And um, don't get me wrong, it was a bittersweet sort of childhood, but I strongly believe that you sometimes your past and whatever darkness you go through can make you what you are today. And what it did for me, without getting into it, is it made me want to be the parent. So I am a parent with love, and also to, to try and keep that element of, of, of magic for the children and, and give them what I didn't have. Without spoiling them, there's a fine line. And that's why I like them to do the charity side and, and adopt that sort of philosophy. I think if that you plant that in them from the start, then I think you can alleviate any fears you get of spoiling them. However, so moving on now, the channel has uh, massively surprised us. So I wanna say thank you to all the subscribers because without you, and the people that have watched, we would not have got the emails we've got. Now, we've had six emails so far of various companies. I'm not going to name any of them yet because we're all in talks um, to regarding. And, and the emails, in essence, were basically saying, if you need to cough, Mark, just cough. We do not, we do not care about any of that. It's just raw. So, yeah, so um, the emails we got were basically saying that... Um, you know, we'd love to love your channel, brilliant. Love to work with you, brilliant. Um, you know, we want to give you furniture and toys and this and that. And I, I remember thinking, okay, well, we've got everything we need. Um, most importantly, we've got love, but the other bits, all the trimmings we've got. Um, but there's people out there, because I'm never going to forget how it was for me. And there's people out there that, that haven't got so, so I emailed back saying thank you for the compliment. We are a new channel, we're only five months old. Shout out to got a shout out to the Rush fam, um, because that's who inspired my son to do a channel. He was watching, he found you on YouTube and started watching you. But anyway, I, so I emailed the companies back saying, Look, we've got what we've got, we're quite happy in our space. However, what we'd love to do. Is, is give to people that may need it, i.e. we don't need a new sofa and a new telly and a new bed, which is what we're being offered and toys, etc. So can we discuss the possibility of you can do content with us and we can showcase your, your brand, but we want to give the stuff to people that need it. Um, we learnt about a family whose, family whose house had burned down um, and I won't talk too much about that now because I'm not going to disclose the, the finer details. But in my head, I instantly thought they've got, they've lost all their possessions. So what better cause to do than that? Obviously, we're going to get a benefit because it's on our channel and we're spreading goodness. But for me, you, we, we like to give back. This family likes to give back. So we don't need it. The bigger we get. So guys, what I found on the video, I've got this from the CEO, diary of a CEO. I'm looking at our analytics and six, it is 68%, similar to his, although his channel's massive, haven't subscribed yet. So please hit the subscribe button and the notification button, or as Crew says, notify. Simply because the bigger we get, and the more, the more, the more people are going to email us. That's the long and short of it. The more people are going to email us to do brand um, JVs with or sponsorship with them, the more we can then say, right, this is what we want to do. We want to be a channel of influencers. We were called influencers, but we want to give back. You know, we want to just give everything back. We don't want to keep anything. And I'm sure there's other people that do that, but that's what we want to do. Um, there was a particular one of them, I won't name yet, because everything's all in discussions, 
we, we had the one email we had, one of them, when I said what we wanted to do, um, he said back that it's so refreshing because normally some influencers, I don't know who he's referring to, um, there's good and bad in all, all walks of life and all trades and industries. However, he said that in his role and his, in his time in his role, he's met on the main influence that just want and are so demanding and it's what what want behind the scenes. Um, and the reason I said that is because when he was offering all this stuff, I said, look, we don't want it with all respect, but we do want to do something with it. We want to do it, give it to people that, that will need it. And also, you know, need it, it's not that we wouldn't appreciate it, but they're going to appreciate it a lot more. So the bigger we get and the, 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 big, the bigger the max, and we're going to get there 100% in 2024. I said to Mark, who's, who's doing the camera, when we first started this, I said, I don't know whether we're going to go left or right. I'm gobsmacked at how quickly it's grown. But what's happened organically is uh, it, it's awakened, the, it's, it's made me realise just by accident that this is a way I can do, uh, that we can do as a family, this charity work and help people and influence people. And that's what I think is magical. And I just want to say something out there to, to all the viewers. I'm a massive believer in manifestation. There's been some crazy stuff. I can't name them because they're in the public eye that have, um, that have, have texted me basically um, saying that, that in the new year, let's look to do something. Nothing's confirmed and I can't name the people, but they're people that you know are known worldwide. And I said exactly the same thing to them. Wouldn't it be nice? This is what we want to do. We want to, our mission statement is to use our, our channel and our love to help, you know, when these corporations and people want to work with us to go out there and spread that out there in its entirety. Um, and so that's happening at the moment. Um, so, this, so for me, 2024 is going to be magical. And I want to say something from a manifestation point of view. And, and I hope if, even if this just gets to one person, we have something called a subconscious and a conscience. And there's a word called paradigms. And I'm not going to bog you down with all these big words. So I'm going to put it into layman's terms. In our subconscious, we get fed lots of different bits of information um, and we take it in. Now, in our, sorry, in our conscience, sorry, we get fed all and, and then it goes into our subconscious. So it goes from conscience to subconscious to, to conscience. Get that right. And what that happens is then is when you when you take in everything, something bad, something good, something bad, because of the way we've been programmed and brought up, and I'm not knocking any educational systems here because we need them. However, one thing that's lacking is imagination. And I think that is the most important thing that all people should hold on to, which is why I'm so, I have the philosophy with my children to, you know, make believe and, and, and stuff like that, because that's where you can tap into other resources that are generally forgotten, like the sixth sense and things like that. So what we tend to do is we tend to think of things we don't want, i.e. God, I don't want this to happen to me. I don't want that to happen to me. And that actually begins to manifest. So what I'm going to take you through a journey of 2024, I'm going to elaborate more on this whole manifestation topic because it's working on this channel, as you can see. And I want to break it down in layman's terms that if you have got a dream, whatever it is, don't give up on it. Because every single idea, whether it's a plane, electricity, was came from somebody's mind, a single person's mind, their imagination. And that's the most powerful thing. And if we all tapped into it, you know, we could all become happier people. On the note of happier people, one of the things I want to try and do with people on the channel is I only want, we only want to work with people that are like-minded. So if any of the people that email and so far so good don't want to, if they just want to give us products and give us stuff, we're not interested. And, and you can hold us to that. We want them to be on board with our journey of helping and spreading love to other people because right now, 2023, despite the fact there's a lot of bad and, and, and suffering in the world, we can only, we've got to look to get stronger from it because it's only from the darkness we can get stronger. And for me personally and my two children, for us, we just thought we can only do a tiny little bit but if everybody does a tiny little bit, the light that will shine will, will be will hopefully counterbalance all the darkness that's going on at the moment. So I'll talk more about that as we go. And you're going to see it manifest anyway through the channel. So please like, subscribe and get notified. 
because the bigger we get, the the more influence we're going to have to to shine our lights. Um, Mark, who's behind the camera, I want to I just want to show you this. This was the most incredible. I prefer presents, which I'm sure most of us do now. We're all waking up to meaningful presents, but he got us this for Christmas because obviously the kids think I'm super Adam. Cruz thinks he's Spider-Man and Moana thinks she's Spider-Girl. So thank you, Mark, for that. Absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna put that there. So 2024, folks, is the year when this channel blows and continues to blow. And also we're working with like-minded people, like people to, to get out there and spread some happiness and love. Um, we wish you all the best for 2024. Remember what you think will come to fruition. So keep thinking positive, call to action as well, do something, whatever it is you want to do, then believe in yourself and do it because that's exactly what I'm teaching my children. Um, and, and that's why they're so happy and that's why they do more. And we want to pass that on to you guys. So follow us through the journey for 2024. <laughs> Mark's going to do all that mad stuff now and all the glitter's going to come down. Oh God, get out my hair. And um, we'll look forward to giving you some brilliant videos in 2024. Watch this space. So our mission for 2024, well, we aim through fun, fitness and family and crazy vlogs to invite, we're inviting organizations for collaborations. Thank you for those ones that have asked already. Um, we'll blend some entertainment with purpose um, to inspire, uplift and support those in need because there's a lot of people out there in need at the moment so we can make a real meaningful impact together, sharing the joy of giving. And remember, hashtag tip number one. You're gonna get lots of those this year. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Okay, believe guys. You've got to action it too, but it starts with a belief, okay? And finally, we would like to thank Mark, Daryl, and everybody, all the subscribers, and all the people, the organizations that have messaged us, and anyone else, shout out to George that has gave us that little bit of advice. My hero, Cruz and Moana, and all the my fam jam family get notified because there's lots going on in 2024 we forgot to mention scott and darren you're gonna have to guess who played what because i can't say because the children will know we would also like to thank the sanderson sisters because they've just reminded me that they were in a vlog. What is dad like? Cruz and Moana, where are you? I need your help. And some of Cruz's friends too have been involved. Happy New Year out with the old, in with the new. Make sure you subscribe and get notified. Happy New Year, YouTube family. Have a great day. Happy New Year. Get Let's subscribe, get, hit the notification, get notified. <laughs>